Hey, it's Al Bergeron, Chief Creative Officer of BergeronCreative.com, and this is the Brand Whisperer Briefing, where I provide practical brand strategies that will grow your corporate or personal brands, giving you greater influence in today's technology-driven society. On this week's episode, I'm going to discuss House of Brands Architecture. A House of Brands features a collection of distinct brands under a parent brand. An example would include Procter & Gamble and its vast array of products across multiple industries. Sub-brands within the House of Brands sometimes feature their parent brand's identity. Some brands chose not to disclose the relationship at all and seem like independent brands because of specific strategies around pricing, perceived quality, or target audiences. The biggest problem with this type of approach is the marketing and advertising budget is higher since each brand is promoted separately from the parent and has its own unique brand blueprint. So your homework for this week is to answer this question. Do I have multiple divisions, products, or services that require different branding from my parent brand? That's it for this week. Have a great week. On the next episode of The Brand Whisperer, I will discuss endorsed brand architecture.